A wheelchair user has partially won his case at the Supreme Court against a bus company. Doug Pawley took legal action because he couldn't board a bus in Leeds when a woman with a pram refused to move. Our disability correspondent Nikki Fox reports. As he makes his way to the Supreme Court on one of the most important days of his life, Doug Pawley is about to find out whether his nearly five-year legal battle will end in victory for all disabled people who need to use wheelchair spaces on buses. Hi, Jeff. Nice to see you. This all began back in 2012 when Doug was unable to catch a bus because the space for wheelchairs was occupied by Mum and her pushchair. She refused to move, which meant Doug couldn't get on. Inside court, all seven judges unanimously agreed that First Group's policy of requesting, not requiring a person to vacate the wheelchair space, was unlawful. But it's only a partial victory, as it doesn't go as far as insisting someone move from the space. I feel like it will create a cultural shift, and that's what they said in court as well. So people will be aware of the fact that the wheelchair area is for wheelchair users and that they should take priority. The impact of today's judgment will still have wider implications. For example, any service provider with a space for disabled people will not just have to request that a non-disabled person move, they'll have to pressurise. For example, a bus driver may refuse to move from a bus stop in order to shame somebody off the bus. First Group admit they may have to amend the training they provide their bus drivers following today's verdict. We really welcome the fact that the court has confirmed that a driver is not required to remove a passenger from a bus if they are refusing to move from this space. That's really important for drivers to have that clarity. Well, I'm really happy with today's ruling. It's great that after five years of fighting and campaigning by so many people that we've got a ruling that shows that disabled people do have the right to catch a bus and that the bus company must make all reasonable efforts to make that possible. Today's Supreme Court ruling isn't clear-cut, but it does pave the way for a closer look at legislation when it comes to prioritising access for wheelchair users. Nikki Fox, BBC News.